After a long journey, a river doesn't just meet the sea, it creates new land. Welcome to the world of deltas, places where rivers slow down, spread out, and leave behind the soil that builds futures. Welcome back, Geomasters. Today, we're exploring how rivers create these rich landscapes, why people depend on them, and how we can protect them. Let's begin where the river's journey ends and life begins. A delta is a landform made of sand, silt and clay that forms where a river meets a standing body of water, like a sea or lake. When the river slows down, it can no longer carry all its sediment. The heaviest bits drop first, building land over time. As sediment builds up, the river splits into smaller channels called distributaries, creating the delta's unique shape. Some deltas look like fans, others like birds' feet. It all depends on how much sediment the river carries and how the sea interacts with it. The Nile Delta fans out like a triangle, while the Mississippi's Delta stretches into the sea like long fingers. Each delta tells a story of its river. Deltas are some of the most fertile places on Earth. The soil here is rich in nutrients, perfect for growing crops like rice, maize and vegetables. In fact, the Mekong Delta in Vietnam feeds over 20 million people and supplies half the country's rice. Deltas also support fishing. The Niger Delta in Nigeria provides fish and shrimp for local communities and for export. For many people, deltas are not just land, they are life, income and culture. But there's a downside. Ports and cities built on deltas can pollute the water and harm ecosystems. The challenge is to develop without destroying. Deltas are home to incredible wildlife. The Okavango Delta in Botswana attracts elephants, lions and countless birds. The mix of fresh and salt water creates unique habitats where many species thrive. But deltas are at risk. When we build dams upstream, they trap sediment. Without new sediment, deltas shrink and sink. Climate change and rising sea levels make things worse, flooding fields with salt water and destroying farms. The water is saltier now. Our crops don't grow like they used to. Protecting deltas starts upstream. We need to reduce dams or design them to let sediment pass through. We can also replant mangroves and trees along coasts to reduce erosion and trap sediment. Local actions matter too. In South Africa, Communities are working to keep rivers clean and free of pollution. Every small effort helps. Scientists are also testing new ideas, like diverting sediment to rebuild lost land. In the Mississippi Delta, pipelines are pumping sediment to restore wetlands. To protect deltas, we need to understand rivers from start to finish. How do we measure a river's health? Its strength? Its personality? Next time, we're introducing river grading, a simple way to read rivers like a pro. You'll learn how to tell if a river is healthy, strong, or in trouble. Don't miss it. Deltas remind us that rivers give us more than water. They give us land, food, and life but they need our care. If you want to help protect these special places, like this video to spread the word. Subscribe to learn how to grade rivers next time. Share your Delta story or ask a question. Every river ends somewhere. Let's make sure it's a happy ending.